517, let's get you back to your forecast with meteorologist Alan Rose. And Bree, this afternoon, much better than yesterday afternoon, but this morning, really, really cold outside. So as we look at that out the door checklist, even though we're at 20 at the Springs Airport, many areas in the Pikes Peak region down into the teens and single digits. So I'm going to say yes to everything, the jacket, the extra layer, the hats and gloves, even some spots in my neighborhood still had some snow and ice on the sidewalk. So winter boots, why not? on a day like today. Now as we look at temperatures across the rest of the region, look at Alamosa dangerously cold this morning at negative 14. The last windshield check I did was down to minus 31. When it's that cold, exposed skin can experience frostbite symptoms in as little as 10 to 15 minutes. So you want to make sure you cover up early. 7 in Rye, 25 in Canyon, sitting at 0 in Woodland Park, and 10 the outside temperature in Mogamon. Now take a look at the forecast trends in the springs today. Yesterday's high only 28 degrees. Today we'll add on around 10 degrees to your daytime high, putting us into the upper 30s. And even though we're quite a bit warmer, less windy than yesterday, we're still about 7 degrees below the average high of 45 and the reason for the warming trend a little bit of high pressure building in from our southwest in advance of our next system off to the east we say goodbye to this monster storm that brought us the snow and the wind yesterday now bringing heavy snow to the northern tier of the country probably lots of travel delays i would expect if you're traveling east and severe weather threats still ongoing this morning across the deep south and the gulf coast states now for us locally we start out clear and cold by the afternoon, we start to see some clouds fill in along with those warmer temperatures. Should make for a pretty nice sunset around 5 o'clock this evening. And a little farther west, some of the clouds will be thick enough to bring in a little bit of light snow late tonight into Wednesday out across parts of our central and northern states mountains. Now for us, Springs and Pueblo, we hold off until Thursday for our next chance for snow. And as we look at Futurecast, that system not really expected to do much outside of the mountains. I think it's really going to be a quick shot of snow, probably Thursday afternoon, very early Thursday morning. The model not even showing much more than just some light snow showers. Most of it gone as you make our way towards, I'd say, about 10, 11 o'clock on Thursday night. So your highs today warming into the 30s and 40s across the plains, 20s and 30s to the mountains and mountain valleys. Wednesday, the wind begins to pick up ahead of that quick shot of snow on Thursday. And gust on Wednesday could be in excess of 30 to even 40 miles per hour here in the Pikes Peak region. We keep it breezy through Friday, and then some very cold air looks to be on the horizon towards the end of the weekend and early next week. For Pueblo, a few days in the 40s, then we're down to the 30s through Saturday, 19 on Sunday, 17 your high on Monday. Canyon City, windy late this week with a few light snow showers Thursday and then that cold Arctic air that moves in on Sunday for Woodland Park. You've got temperatures near freezing today and tomorrow down to the 20s through Sunday. Here comes that Arctic Express Monday with a high of just 15.